Hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening to you, depending on the location you're watching this video from. Guys, eh, a shifter of APC, a former um, staunch supporter, this guy was a friend of Tinubu and a staunch supporter of Tinubu before the election. As a matter of fact, this guy was, um, he was one of those... Uh, he was the head of his campaign team before the election. All right. So he got a point. The guy only turned back at pre uh, President Select Tinubu. He turned back at him because uh, he went to choose a fellow Muslim as his running mate. And this guy was also the SSGF Secretary General of the Federation. All right. This guy is by the name Babishel Lawa. Babishel Lawa. Now, this guy don't bust out online. <laughs> the guy said. This is a shift of episode. He said Peter Obi won the election and Pablo Escobar Tiff Tinubu Cape Town. Guys, I'm going to read the news to you right now on Vanguard newspaper. All right. Just follow me quietly as we read. All right. Okay. According to Vanguard newspaper, Obi, not Tinubu, won 2023 presidential election. SSGM Babichel Lawa, a former secretary general, a former secretary to the government of the Federation SGF, Babichel Lawa said in Abuja on Tuesday that the candidate of the Labour Party, LP Peter Obi, won the February 25th presidential election above Bola Tinubu, as declared by the Independent National Electoral Commission (INEC). Lawa, a close ally, guys, I just told you guys just now that he is a close friend to Tinubu. Lawa, a close ally of Tinubu, asserted that available factual data as ag aggregated from several independent sources indicated that Obi got the majority vote while Atiku came second in the election. In a strongly worded statement he issued on Tuesday, Babichel Lawa said, I have resisted the temptation to engage in the contemporary political discourse since the May 2023 election first passed. I did this for two reasons. The first being that as an active player in the drama, I didn't have to analyze and digest the data that led to the outcome so I could arrive at an informed decision. The second being that the rainy season had just set in and it was necessary that I focus my attention on my farms, which are the base, which are the mainstay of my livelihood. The current topical issues for political discourse and inquiry are whether or not Bola Tinubu won the presidential election or that he was a, a pre-qualified to participate in the election giving his mocky bow data as is now being publicly unveiled daily and uh, an avalanche. My answer to the first inquiry is that regardless of whatever Adek or a court said or did, Bola did not win the election. Guys, you guys should follow me closely, right? I have been, I've made a series of videos on this. This is a close alley. Not be the talker, but the vanguard the talker. This is a close alley of that drug baron, Tinubu. Let's continue reading. Right from the start of the campaign, Bola knew he was not going to win the election in a free and fair contest. So he decided to go by all means. Available factual data as aggregated from several independent sources indicate that Obi got the majority vote while Atiku came second. Bola came a distant third in number of votes scored. My answer to the second inquiry is that even even the now unfolding the launch or complementary information about who or what it actually is, ordinarily, sad ethics and morality should have convinced him to voluntarily excuse himself from participation in the election. Okay, but this, let me, guys, let me just deliberate on this before I proceed reading. I've said this in the same country, in the same country where democracy rules, where there is rule of law. Bola Tinubu supposed to have excused himself. This guy got no shame. Imagine the other time. Because of this drug issue, now every all president of the country of nation they are against him. When they went to India, did you guys see the video and the pictures? All president, all of them, this guy was isolated. He was isolated. He had According to what APC guy said initially, they uh, they say he scheduled a meeting to be with a uh, United States president. What was this guy the body, right? But guess what? Because of the formation that body had, that not only uh, 
uh, not only uh, what's it called of the, the uh, what's it called the information he had about him forging his certificate of a uh, of a uh, what's it called Chicago State University, right? You know everything has been unveiled. So Biden was simply advised. If you want to win your second election, excuse yourself from this guy. His history is bad. His record is bad. Are you guys with me? Imagine this guy that coming at a baby shell awa. Vanguard is one saying it not be. That is is a is a close ally of Tinubu. So if people are close to Tinubu could come out like this and be saying what we already know, you will see some scavengers or scrupulous elements. We still come here and be defending the defensible despite all the suffering they are suffering. I be make a read job. He said, but this notwithstanding, I believe he still has time and opportunity to save himself. Yes, this is Fred advising him. But this notwithstanding, I believe he still has time and opportunity to save himself. This public humiliation and embarrassment to his person, both locally and internationally, by resigning so that he can give more attention to his head. Just imagine, only you are, you are sick, you are demented. You are... This guy is debated. He can't walk on his own. Did you see uh, that uh, that journalist from Ghana the other time, a popular journalist from Ghana? He said it on the national television that Obi won. That this is the problem of 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 Africa politics. Did you guys say it? It's very that This guy should resign. What did the PBB say? Some of them who are in Nigeria who can barely eat one square meal a day. They are suffering and smiling. They will still come under my post and be defending this. Indefensible, this draw baron. I ready for now. <laughs> okay, he said, After all, guys, let, let, let me continue reading, please. After all, no one knows about the truism of this severely embarrassing and humiliating exposure about his person than the man himself. Leadership is all about integrity, sound pedigree, trustworthiness, and the ability to unite as is still hope and confidence in the people who are six to lead. In this quality, most Nigerians are in total agreement that Bola has, has them in very, very short supply indeed. But now, six months down the line, the Chiki has come home to roast <clears throat> to roast as Nigerians have come to the realization that we have not got what we deserve politically. Confusion and confusion and despondency is not all over the nation as no one trusts the government to do what it says it will do. No one trusts the leader and no one trusts appointees who are appointed as reward for their roles in the election or who had in the past helped him in his life. Bola the president and his group are now in government and are, are, are in full control are in full control of Nigeria's vast resources and opportunities. They are enjoying their offices while Nigeria language in insecurity Poverty and hopelessness. During the campaign, Bola mounted some platitude about competence, but we are so far yet to see it reflected in his political appointment. It seems more like he is rewarding people who supported him to get the presidency at all. Guys, please, I have to be analyzing what I'm reading, okay? What the Pabishel Lawa is friend is saying. You that, listen, before I proceed, you that want to come under my post to be arguing. You understand supporting Tinubu. Firstly, the man talking here, he was the former Secretary General of the Federation. He is a shifter of APC, a close ally of APC. So, do you know more than this man what he's saying? What this man just said now, did he lie? Is there any, is there any lie? Is there any lie? Before APC took over power, pe uh, petrol was less than 100. But as it stands today, I was told yesterday that petrol is currently over a thousand naira. Uda the Christ, no guesses. You that could barely even eat one square meal, you go get you 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 have the you have the boldness to come and be committed under my post talking rubbish. I go feed your papa, feed your mama for all your life. Some of you, if you don't know, I am not in Nigeria. I know you suffer like you now. Make now know. This is somebody say when somebody like this should be talking. A mature man who is at the corridor of power is speaking. Some of scrupulous element they will come here and be defending. I feel so irritated reading your comments. I'm just be honest with you. I'm not talking to my steep followers. I'm talking to the unscrupulous element. All, all these, all these, and they call the Tinubu goat because Tinubu don't replace their brain with gold. They don't get you my brain. That's just the truth. I mean, let me read this thing. 
This heart of imagine, sorry, please. Imagine what this guy is saying now. How he, uh, Tinubu, instead of him to even for the short time he had to even employ, put some the qualified people in the in, in the right office, is rewarding those who joined him in this camp before election. Somebody like Wiki. Can't you see the leader of women affair? Looking at that woman, she doesn't look good. She's disgracing the office. Imagine she said she wants to sue you and that you had took money on, on, on behalf of her office. I beg. <coughs> He said the he said the hand okay this this band of a this band of appointees that Bola is assembly Ito is government don't care about Nigeria at all for prices will continue to gallop upwards until only they can afford it the Nara will continue to race downhill in a free fall until only they can afford anything in the market. Insecurity will continue its escalation until every community in the nation is consumed by it. Just to mention a few of these appointees, take insecurity for example. What do you expect an accountant to do as a minister of defense? Was he not that one who was governor? Why Belo Tuji uh, et et a freely terrorize Zafra state? What about a CBA governor with a CV, a water chairman of a little no bank, a little no bank, employed 300 people in less than 12, 12 branches clustered in the south, south, and southeast regions? Is there any doubt left as to his lack of qualification and experience for the job that that is First publicly statement was to remove foreign exchange restriction for the importation of 43 agricultural and related product. Certainly, Nigerians are ill for a short treat. The people running the government do not care a hoot about the Nigerian people. Their cronies are the petroleum industry players, while some are the bank, while some are the banking system player. So a free form of the data and and an unregulated upward movement of oil prices both work for more profit for them. By the way, has anyone noticed the intolerance for free speech? Yes, intolerance for free speech and dictatorship. Oh, that is creepy. That is creepy upon us. Has anyone noticed the nature of the, the action of the National Broadcasting Commission? Guys, have I not done video on this? Have I not come? This man, he just he pointed out something that, that, that interests me. Intolerance of free speech. Guys, I told you, I did video now. Tinubu now, oh Jesus, what am I going to start from? Tinubu is going to, is going against bloggers. Some, some of us who are bloggers, right? Some of our co top content creators who are fighting this government. We are currently on this watch list. Some of us. Now you see what they just did against, uh, uh, against uh, Arise TV, right? Intolerance of free speech. That was why Pastor Chris Oyahilobe he, he lambasted Tinubu the other time. He said they are trying to go and fight the Nigerian Republic, right? Because uh, they, they call it dictatorship. Uh, uh, Abi is here. He said Nigeria, do we have free speech? The reason why some of us we we fought for democracy is not because of free speech. Do you have free speech? Me that is talking me. I date Pablo Escobar. I not say Pablo Escobar. I don't make I talk too much, I beg. But just that when I get some truth like this, they irritate me. I'm being really, really irritated. Guys, I beg you, make sure you share this video right now. Share this video. Give it a thumbs up. Share it on the platform you, you, you belong. Because this is a Tirubus Ali that is talking. So the world has got to hear it. All right. God bless you. I'll see you in my next video. Thank you.